Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Elden Ring video. Today we have another cool video for you. A full guide for Millicent and Melania's quest line to get us a secret ending in Elden Ring. And in today's video, I'm going to walk you through all of the steps from the start, from talking to Gallery, all the way to Millicent and of course the amazing fight and rewards and in between. Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Let's get started. Now, in order to kick off this quest line from the very first step, all you have to do is make your way over here to Millicent. Now, where is she located? Well, she's gonna be located right over here at the Church of Play. But in order to even get things kicked off, we actually gonna to have to talk to Gowry. But we are actually going to go to the church first because there's a saving grace point here. So let's head over to the Church of Play. From here, you turn around and you'll see there's an NPC. More than likely, you've seen her here before and she's gonna say the same thing. Now, we are going to start our quest line off by talking to Gallery and then interacting with her. So first things first, let's head over to Gallery Shack and let's start off this quest line. Now, right behind the church is Gallery Shack. That's why we started over there at the church so we can have a saving grace save point. And then we're gonna make our way down over to Gallery Shack then we're gonna to talk to him and he's gonna basically tell us about Millicent, this girl he wanna help out, and he's gonna ask us to go get this golden needle. Now, the golden needle is going to be acquired from taking down the commander. Now, the commander is gonna be located right here, right outside the inner Ionia swamp. So you will have to take out one boss, ladies and gentlemen, for the start of this quest line. After you finish taking out said boss, he's gonna drop us the key item that we need. Here's Commander O'Neill, and he's down for the count. And now we have a key item that we're looking for, the unalloyed golden needle. From here, we wanna head back over to Gallery Shack and talk to him and see what he has to say. Oh, you found the unalloyed gold needle. As promised, I've detailed the secret of Celia right here. Go on, it's yours. Now let me have a look at the needle. Well, well, this is a marvel indeed. The work of a true artisan, a meticulous, bold craftsman who grasps the essence of life. Can you give me some time with this? As well made as it is, it won't be much use to snap in half, will it? Now, we're going to have to pass some time in order for this guy to fix that needle. So even if we head back over to the church, we still won't be able to interact with Millicent. But that's cool though. We're going to sit here at the saving point and we're going to pass some time. So just wait until daytime and then we're pretty much are good to go. So from here, we're going to head back down to Gallery Shack after we pass some time. And then finally, he's going to have some dialogue. I have awaited your return. The needle is repaired. Now it will forestall the rotting sickness, I'm sure. Will you give it to the girl, Millicent? I will reward you in kind. Millicent rests at the church atop the cliff beyond Celia, the town yonder. Tended to him by the witless pests who worship her mother of rotting sickness as a god. A wretched fate indeed. Alright, nice. Now finally we can head back to the church and then we can talk to Millicent and give her the golden needle. If you are wise, you want my flesh. You ask that I stab myself with the needle to quell the scarlet rot. But trust you and simply continue to spoil from within. Would you mind averting your eyes for a moment? Well, that was easier than expected. But why do I feel so... Alright ladies and gentlemen, from here you might be a little confused as to what to do, but once again, I got you covered. Now, you have finished the dialogue with her basically for this time. So, we're going to head back down to Gary Shack and talk to him. Thank you kindly for giving the needle to Millicent. 
Sweet, and now that we've finished talking to the Sage Gallery, well, we can finally head back to Militant. Head back to the church, and now you see that she's standing up, and we have more dialogue. We just picked up the prothesis wears heroin, which will increase our intelligence, a very good item. So from here, ladies and gentlemen, head back to the saving grace and we're gonna just sit here. And basically, <laughs> she's gone. We're gonna head back to Gary Shack. She's over there. And now we have some more dialogue. Alright, sweet, we're here at Gallery Shack, but where's Gallery? Well, we need to head back to the church, pass some more time, Millicent will leave, and then Gallery will show back up. And then we can continue the dialogue with him, and then she's gonna arrive in a whole bunch of different places. But first thing first, let's head back down to Gallery Shack. Please make certain that little Millicent goes unharmed. Like her mother, she has the stuff of a great warrior, but commands only one arm and is yet preciously young. Oh, you noticed, did you? Indeed, Millicent did visit this hobby land. It seems the memories eaten away by the rotting sickness yet remain at Fulte. However, she has no need of me anymore. No, she must embark on her journey and stare her fate in the eye. And in As I've aged, I found the best way to aid the young is to be forgotten. All right, and after we finish the dialogue with Gallery, Millicent is traveling to a whole bunch of different locations. The first one is going to be located at the Earth Tree Grazing Hill, right outside of the Grand Lift of Dectus. You see something pop up right there? It's a full step by step guide to get that opened up. After that, head over there and talk to Millicent. Ah, meet again. In truth, it's been smooth sailing for me. sweet now we're gonna hook her up with a prosthetic arm that we can get from this castle so make your way over to the shady castle and i'll show you exactly where you need to go in order to pick up this prosthetic arm inside of this castle it's the only place that you are going to go up the ladder in order to get to the top of the castle so from the ladder ladies and gentlemen we're going to make our way left like i showed you right here on the map and hopefully you don't get lost but if you do please hit me up down below i'll walk you through it head over here open up the chest ladies and gentlemen and here's valkyrie prosthesis we have a prosthetic arm for her so we're going to head back to the same location where she's located at the earth tree grazing hill and talk to millicent so first thing first head over here and then we're going to have an option i suggest you give it to her It might 
be possible for me to wield a sword again? Perhaps then I can aid you in battle. Sweet. Now from here, ladies and gentlemen, she's going to show up at a different location, at the Windmill Heights. Now, once you make your way over here, it will be a boss you're going to have to take out. A god skin apostle. After you finish taking out him, she will spawn in at the save point. So, after you take out the boss, spawn back in here, and then talk to Millicent yet again. Ah, oh, we meet yet again. The army you gave me truly is a thing of wonder. It feels just like my own. Even handling a sword. Perhaps it is foolish to say this to you of all people, but I am sure of my skill with the sword. Thus, I would have you call upon me in battle, should you ever have the mind. It is the only way that I can express my thanks. From here, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to have to take a nice little trek from the Grand Lift of Road all the way up until you get to the ancient Snowy Valley Ruins. This is the next spot where she's at. Let's talk to Millicent. To think we'd meet in such a place. What could your purpose possibly? No. I know well enough who you are. And what I know is good enough for me. All right, from this point, ladies and gentlemen, you are absolutely going to have to get the Grand Lift of Road secret medallion. She's something pop up right there. That's a full step-by-step -step guide in order to get that done. And then make your way to the Ardenia Lutherical Town where you see something pop up right there. It's a whole nother puzzle you're going to have to solve, but I got you covered. And then from there, you're going to finally make your way until you get into the prayer room where Millicent is yet again here for dialogue. Again. Alright, after you finish talking to her, you're going to have to make your way through this tree until you get to the drainage channel. Now, once you're over here, well, I'm going to walk you through exactly where we need to go in order to kick off this nice little quest line inside of a quest line. You have some choices to make, ladies and gentlemen. You can either help her out or you can absolutely take her out. And both of them is going to give us different rewards. We're going to help her out because we want to get ourselves a nice secret ending when it comes to the end of the game but it's totally up to you i'll walk you through the rewards of which you get from defeating millicent you will get the prosthetic arm which will definitely boost up your stats but if you decide to help her we're going to get ourselves some amazing items ladies and gentlemen but before we even do that there's this huge rotted boss that's going to be down here you can usually take him out from on top kind of cheese him a little bit so the choice is up to you you can either summon and challenge her or you can help her out. If you want the secret ending, I suggest you help her out. If you do decide to help her out, there is a ton of these sisters that you're going to have to take out. They can be quite challenging, but you can get the job done. It's not like it's a huge boss or anything like that. You know, just take your time, take them all out, and then you are finally almost done. You have helped out Millicent and you're going to get yourself the Rotted Wing Sword Insignia, which is amazing helps increase your health with consecutive hits. From here, we're gonna head back over to Millicent. We're gonna talk to her because we have some more dialogue before we can continue and finish up this quest line. So, Millicent, here we go. end. I paused to 
even tell you. Alright, from this point ladies and gentlemen, we need to head back to the drainage channel and just load into the zone and then head back to where Millicent is and she'll be down for the count. She's dead, but we have the unallied gold needle that we can pick back up. This is huge and important because once we take out Melania, the goddess of rot, well then we're going to be using that to get ourselves another key item that will get us the secret ending in Elden Ring. Once you hit the save point, turn around, the flower will pop up after you beat the boss and return the unalloyed golden needle to pick up Maquella's needle, an ancient dragon smithing stone. Amazing, you have done it. You've completed the quest line and you're going to get yourself an amazing secret ending as well. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, full step-by-step -step guide for Melania's and Millicent quest right here in Elden Ring. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing? Welcome. Don't forget to subscribe right here at Carbo Game and upload a wide variety of videos range from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So once again, thank you for watching everybody. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.